IIoT, the details take zero. A couple of, uh, so we're back here in the office in Dallas and we're shooting our content again. It's been probably a month or so, right, since we've shot any, uh, you know, most of the content we've been posting has been from CSIA and various podcasts and that kind of stuff. So we're back in shooting content. We've talked a lot over the last month on what we should talk about this month. We actually didn't even decide until today. So what we're going to be shooting is IIoT, the details. So we're going to just, these are topics that have come up on LinkedIn, questions that have been asked directly as to, can you get a little bit more into the details in terms of, you know, what is a data hub? What does digital transformation look like? Tell me a little bit more, you know, is I using IIoT secure? What does the unified namespace look like? All that kind of stuff. So that's, that's what this content's going to be about. We're going to start with the data hub. One of the questions that comes up a lot when we're talking to clients is, um, and in fact, John, our director of sales was just telling us this morning that one of the most common terms that he gets is we have disparate systems that we need to connect together. Okay. And, and how do we do that? How do we accomplish that? The other thing that he gets a lot is uh, total cost ownership. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. So what are, what are the disparate systems that people talk about? So, um, you know, if, if this whiteboard is my entire facility, I may have, uh, you know, I may have PLCs um, throughout my facility, okay? So I may have PLCs all throughout my facility. And these PLCs are handling all of our automation. This is all the industry 3.0 stuff. Every one of these PLCs talks at least two languages. The first one is it'll talk any of the proprietary protocols that the manufacturer supports. So for example, the S7-1200 is gonna talk Profibus, right? It, or, it, which is not proprietary, but it is a Siemens, it is a Siemens protocol. It's also going to talk the Siemens Ethernet protocol. Okay. Compact Logics is going to talk SIP and any other proprietary language that well uses. Easy Logics is not, doesn't have any proprietary protocols at all. They also all talk OPC and they all talk Modbus. Okay. So I have disparate PLC systems in my plant. Okay. Above these, I could be using WinCC HMIs. I could be using PanelView Plus HMIs and Automation Direct. They call these are the Do More, right? See More PLCs are Do More. So the See More HMIs. I may also have Red Lion HMIs above that. I could have lots of other HMIs. Uh, Maple Systems. We don't want to leave anybody out. So at the PLC layer, I may have lots of different pieces of hardware. At the HMI layer, I may have lots of pieces of hardware. Wago PLCs. That's right. Um, so now what I've got, I saw. So as you can see, when we're just talking about PLC and HMI, we have lots of disparate different systems. These PLCs or these HMIs all talk multiple languages as well. So for example, in the case of the Red Lion, the Red Lion can produce CSVs. It can talk REST over web services. Uh, most of these can actually. OPC UA, OPC DA, a whole host of protocols. The Red Lion actually will also talk most of the proprietary protocols to these PLCs. So now at the HMI layer, I've got disparate systems and then we move up above to the SCADA layer. So I'm just, I'm not going to get crazy here, but let's do WinCC. Let's do Wonderware. Let's do Ignition. Let's use Factory Studio. And we'll just, we'll live with that. We could use iFix or any of the other. So now at the HMI layer, I've got all of these various systems as well. Then when we move up to uh, the MES layer, let's go ahead and let's say we got Traxxas. We've got Homebrew, which is very common. Again, let's say we have Ignition, which is Cepasoft's modules. Uh, uh, let's, we have Factory Studio, yep, MES 4.0. And then above that, above the, the MES system, we'll have our ERP will have, you know, SAP, our batch master, Epicor, Homebrew. So you guys notice this is, should be, I'm gonna drop Maple off of here so I can use this, but we have our PLC, we have our HMI, we have SCADA, we have MES, we have ERP. So these are, and, and, and we can continue with this. So I may have other systems over here that are gonna be things like warehouse management. So we may have our warehouse management system. We may have separate accounting software. Let's say maybe I'm using Sage or I'm, I could be using ScanForce with my, all of my barcode scanners, okay? So I could have lots of other systems within my enterprise. All right, so when we talk about the data hub, right now, everything you see on this screen, it looks messy, 
right? There's no organization to uh, any of these layers, right? So in, in some cases, I may have a connection between the S7-1200 and WinCC. I may have a connection between my Compact Logics and my Redline. Uh, I may also have my PLCs talking to an OPC server, okay? So in the old days, the, in the Industry 3.0 way days, the data hub used to be specific to the layer that we were talking about. So we used to have a data hub that would put all of the data from our PLCs in the same place. And that would be uh, either we use a data, data, data concentrator or we would use something like Kepware to group all the PLC tags in the same location for our pieces of software to talk to. But what we discovered is that Kepware can't be used for everything, right? You can't connect Kepware or uh, Top Server or any of the other off the shelf uh, Matricon OPC. You can't connect all of them to everything in your enterprise. So the data hub, the data hub, using Industry 4.0 concepts, is something that can talk to everything. So think of it as Kepware, or a keep, think of it as the OPC UA server for your entire business, except it doesn't just talk OPC UA. And neither does Kepware, by the way. Kepware has, can talk web services, it can, it can talk MQTT, it can talk a bunch of protocols, but it can't talk everything. It also can't parse flat files. It can't be the data hub for a business because Kepware wouldn't, isn't going to be able to talk to all of these things, and it's certainly not going to be able to talk to basically any of these. So your data hub, you think, the data hub is the, is the, it's the piece of software that talks to everything in your business. Now, there are people out there saying there's nothing out there that talks to everything. That's not true, okay? I can show you right now. There are two on here that'll talk to everything in your business. Ignition and Factory Studio are the two platforms that we use for data hubs. There's another one out there that can talk to everything, and that's WinCC OA, okay? So if we go OA, that can be your data hub. Basically, literally, it can talk to everything, every, all of the nodes that within your business. Sorbo will be another one. Influx Data will be another one. Flow would be another one. But the, the two that we use the most are Ignition and Factory Studio. Ignition is the one that we we definitely, if you were to look at over the course of the last five years, Ignition is the data hub we've used in 90% of our solutions. So what, essentially, what does that mean? So let's talk about uh, Ignition as, as uh, actually, we won't even select one, but we'll, this is, our, this is our data hub. And basically what it means is all of the nodes that are within our business, we can, we can uh, publish into or send data from. So for example, in our warehouse management system, this is going to be almost certainly a web service connection. So, uh, with Sage, it's going to be through the database that uh, Sage is using. Same thing with ScanForce. Now we can use web services as well. What ends up happening is we end up creating nodes inside of our data hub. So in this case, we'll say our, our business is II and we're in Dallas. And then we will have nodes for each of our systems. Sage, ScanForce, every PLC, you know, Easy Logics, Automation Direct, whatever that node ID is, will be will will fall into our namespace, which we'll talk about in another video. But the data hub is the piece of software that talks to everything in your business. That is an industry 4.0 uh, concept. You, you want to know the number one question that gets, that gets brought to us or the number one um, pain point that clients tell us about? That pain point is we have all these disparate systems and we want to get all of our data in one, one place. Now you'll notice we're not passing this information from S7-1200 to WinCC up. We're not doing that. What we're doing is we're taking both nodes directly into our data hub and we'll talk about why that's important. Uh, in a later video.